cứ mỗi lần có thông báo collection nào sắp ra là y như rằng chị em lại nhấp nhỏm đứng ngồi không yên vì thiết kế vỏ mỗi lần đều mang một dáng vẻ rất 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 đặc biệt. Bộ siêu tập này ra mắt ngày 18 tháng 10 ở Mỹ. Ngoài son với giá bán lẻ 18 đô la ra thì còn rất nhiều sản phẩm khác như màu mắt, phấn highlight và viền môi nữa cũng chung thiết kế tím ảo diệu này. Tuy nhiên vì trang mê son nhất thì nên chỉ xin vác bốn em này về thôi. Đây là phiên bản có hạn thế nên nếu bạn muốn sở hữu một thỏi son hình viên đạn lấp lánh sắc tím này thì cũng hãy nhanh tay lên nhé. Mê mẩn cái vỏ là thế. Tuy nhiên, mình lại hơi hụt hẫng chút xíu vì ba trên tổng số 4 tông son của collection này là màu cũ và chỉ thay thiết kế đen sang tím thôi. Duy có màu Evening Rendezvous là mới ra lần này. Cũng chính vì thế nên nếu bạn không kịp sở hữu thì cũng đừng quá lo vì ba màu này vẫn sản xuất bình thường nhé. Nếu bạn vẫn chưa rõ mét Rachel Matte Amplify là gì thì Trang sẽ đính kèm link swatch phần 1 ở phần caption nhé. Trong video đó Trang có phân tích đặc điểm của từng chất son nói riêng để các bạn nắm rõ hơn vì Mac có rất nhiều dòng, nhiều kiểu son phục vụ sở thích và yêu cầu của từng người luôn. O5 Up cũng là một tông son mà Trang thấy ai dùng cũng sẽ hợp. Màu son này làm sáng da, sáng cả răng luôn. Năm ngoái mình có dùng thỏi này rồi nhưng chất son khô hơn. Năm nay được cải tiến rõ ràng thì nên mềm hơn chút xíu. Nhưng vì là Rachel Matte thế nên tất nhiên vẫn phải ly mai. Phục vụ các bạn có sở thích dùng son lì giống trang Em này để khoảng 3-4 tiếng sẽ thấy môi hơi khô dần Nhưng màu thì vẫn đẹp như lúc vừa oánh thoải Màu Dark Side này chính là màu mình thích nhất trong bộ sưu tập lần này luôn Mặc dù đã biết đến sự có mặt của em này từ lâu rồi nhưng mình vẫn khá chần chừ vì là thuộc dòng Amplify, chất son này thường mềm và nhanh trôi hơn Thế nên là mình chỉ dùng mét là chủ yếu thôi Tuy nhiên sau hôm nay thì đã thay đổi suy nghĩ hoàn toàn Không biết có phải vì công thức được thay đổi tốt hơn không mà chất son mềm vừa phải Không bị bóng quá như trước, tông màu đậm nên là siêu lâu trôi Mình đã thí nghiệm bằng một cốc trà và một cái bánh Tuy là vẫn dây ra thành cốc và dây một chút ra bánh nữa Nhưng sau khi ăn xong màu son chẳng xin nghe gì mấy đâu Hoàn toàn bất ngờ luôn ý nếu bạn đang tìm một tông son đậm cho mùa lạnh đến gần thì mình rất 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 khuyên dùng em này đấy nhá. Sợ quá đậm thì lòng môi không cũng rất xinh rồi. Ừ. Cuối cùng là Evening Rendezvous, màu son mới toanh đây. Trang cũng chưa có tông son nào tím hẳn thế này cả thế nên khá hồi hộp không biết lên mặt trông sẽ ra sao. Cái này thì để các bạn đánh giá nhá. Cá nhân mình thì cảm thấy thích thú da phết vì màu son lạ, nhưng chắc chắn là cần make up cẩn thận khi dùng màu này rồi. Vừa thích chất son lì và màu son nhưng cũng vừa cảm thấy lăn tăn vì chưa chắc đã dùng được nhiều. Hmm. Nếu các bạn theo dõi chị Perry Pie, người Thái xinh đẹp thì chắc cũng biết chị ấy siêu mê son tình đúng không? Mà chị dùng thì siêu cuốn hút luôn ý! Vì khung giờ hôm nay hạn hẹp nên mình chỉ kịp quay bốn em son này thôi. Các bạn yêu cầu rất là đông nên Trang cũng không muốn hoãn lại nữa, phải cho video lên sóng ngay. Bạn nghĩ sao về collection này? Liệu bạn sẽ mua hay là không mua? <cười> Comment nhé! Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi video này. Bye bye! Mua! if you don't have any nail art tools. In this tutorial, I'll show you five amazing designs which you can make using things you already have at home. Nail art tools can be super useful when making creations on your nails, but today we'll manage without them. Hey loves, it's time for another nail art tutorial and guess what, it's a no tool one. Well, we will be using tools, but only the ones that you can find around your house. So we're making five beautiful designs that are super easy to make and look amazeballs. Don't you agree? Well, if you do, here's how you can get them too. Sponges, tapes, band-aids, pencils, pens, straws, q-tips, matches, toothpicks, nails, screws, wires, paper pins and much more. All that can be used to make fantastic nail art designs. I'll show you five of them now, so let's get started. Before applying the polish, you have to protect your pretty nails with a base coat. 
This will help you keep them healthy and stain free. First let's make this adorable baby penguin design. Baby penguin's fur is light grey, while adults are black. But I'm making a fantasy penguin, so I went for the blue base. Take a white polish and draw half of an oval on the bottom half of your nail. Now we need to make some bigger dots and pins will help us out here. These are great for pinning paper on a cork board, but they will work perfectly as dotting tools too. I like to pin them in an eraser of a pencil so that they're easier to hold. Then I just use them as a regular dotting tool. Dip it in white and make two large dots. Inside make two smaller black ones using smaller pins. Here I'm using a pencil to make two little white dots and then a construction nail to make two even smaller ones. I am in love with the anime inspired eyes, so adorable! All we got left to do is a small triangle for the beak and two legs on the tip of the nail. All this using a yellow polish and a pencil. Apply a generous amount of the fast drying top coat to seal the design and add some shine. Isn't this the cutest penguin you've ever seen? Who doesn't like minions, right? Well, I love them, so I had to make a minion nail design. I'm starting with white as a base. You're probably thinking, what the heck, minions are yellow. <laughs> no worries. I started with white just because yellow polish pops so much more on top of white. White base makes them so much more vibrant and bold. Starting with the goggles, I'm dipping the eraser of my pencil in silver color and making two big dots close together like that. Inside the big silver dots, make a smaller white ones using a Q-tip. The last little detail for the eyes are the pupils, which I'm making using a bobby pin. Every minion also needs some overalls. I'm drawing them very simply, by sticking a piece of tape across the bottom part of the nail as a guide, and then I'm just coloring the tip in blue. Remove the tape and we're done. To make the mouth, we'll be using a straw. Cut a piece of straw away until you're left with half of a ring shape. Dip it in black and press it on your nail. Voila, our minion just got the biggest smile. To finish this lovely design, apply a layer of top coat. I love how cute and easy this design is. Perfect for an accent to a solid mani, or you can make minions on all the nails. Let's now move to the watermelon fields. Look at the way these hardworking men are collecting watermelons so we can enjoy them. Hashtag respect. These are definitely one of my favorite summer treats, so why not having this delicious fruit on our nails? Start by applying one or two coats of red polish all over the nail as a base. Here I'll be using this sticker that is used for binders as a tool to create the perfect French tip. Stick it on like this and color the bottom third of the nail in white. Remove the sticker and wait until the white polish is completely dry. Place the sticker a bit lower now and color the tip in green. Did you know that you can also use a piece of wire for nail art? I found this one in my father's garage and it works great. So I'm just making a few dark green patches on top of the lighter green. With a toothpick dipped in black, I'm drawing some watermelon seeds. I don't like my watermelon to have too much seeds, so I'm just making a row of them. The only thing left to do is applying a top coat and we're finished. On my right hand, I'll show you how to incorporate this lovely watermelon design into an easy and pretty mix and match mani. I painted my nail in red except for the thumb and middle finger, which I colored green. On the ring finger we're making a watermelon in the same way as before, just that here I'm using a band-aid to make a French tip. As you can see, it works just as great as the binder stickers. This way you can create white French tips or maybe go for colored ones. Such an easy and quick way to get a fun manicure. On the middle finger I'm drawing some random dark green lines, just as the ones watermelons have. These don't have to be perfect, in fact, they should not be perfect. Using a paper clip and dotting motion, I'm drawing some curved lines along the nail. I did the same design on my thumb. Lastly with the black, give your watermelon a few seeds. On the pointer and the pinky, I'm making a small dot just to kind of bring together all the designs into a nice, fun watermelon mix and match nail art. These nails look so summery and delicious, don't they? I absolutely love nail art designs that include blue skies and white fluffy clouds. Here's a cute variation that we're making today. 
Start by applying a medium blue polish as a base. Time to prove that matches can work as a great dotting tool too. Just dip one in white and make a group of dots close together until you get a cloud shape. Make several clouds to fill all the empty spaces on your nail, but make sure they're big enough because we still have to draw their pretty faces on. I'm drawing faces to only three of the clouds, but you can do it on all if you prefer. With a construction nail, make a pair of eyes. For the mouth, I'm using a straw just like I did for the minion. I really love using straw for such curved lines. Like that! Our clouds are now happy and smiley. To add some extra sweetness to the clouds, I'm drawing cheeks to each of them. Just dip a match into light pink, make two dots and our clouds are finished, looking so cute! Well, one thing is missing and that's a top coat which will seal everything in place and protect the design from chipping. How gorgeous are these? Oh, I'm obsessed! Last but definitely not least, we're making this ocean design perfect for the summer days. Paint your nail in light blue. Deep down on the bottom of the sea we have to make the blue darker and mysterious because the light can't reach it in all its power. So let's make a gradient using three shades of blue and a cosmetic sponge. Dab the sponge on the nail and here it is, a beautiful blue gradient. Clean the skin around your nail with a Q-tip soak in acetone. Our ocean is now ready to be decorated with sand, fish, corals and all that cool stuff. In the corner I'm making a little golden patch for the sand. For the fish we first need to make a big dot. An awesome tool for this is a wooden dowel pin. I moved recently and I got so many of these when purchased furniture. So dip it in white and press on the nail to form a perfect dot. For the tail I'm using a toothpick and simply drawing a triangle with it. I made my fish white here but now I'm coloring it in yellow. If yellow is used directly on top of blue the color you get is normally more greenish, so white base is a must. Now our little fishy is bright and vibrant. Add some oxygen bubbles using white polish and piece of wire. For the eyes dip the toothpick in black and make a simple dot. To fill in the empty part of the nail you can draw more fish or a coral like me. For this I'll be using an old pen that stopped working. Dip it in red nail polish and draw several curved lines using stippling motion. Super easy! To make the coral look more realistic I'm making a lot of small white dots all over. Once again I'm using a construction nail to do it. I tell you guys, a garage is a great place to look for nail art tools. Lastly apply a layer of the fast drying top coat to protect this masterpiece. This design is just super interesting, full and summery. Makes me want to travel to some exotic places so badly. Here's a little recap of everything you can use for your nail art and you most probably already have at home. There's surely much else you can use to create awesome designs. Just check out the back of your drawers, I think you can find many interesting things. So these are my 5 nail art ideas using DIY tools. I really hope you like them and let me know which one was your favorite. I really like how all of them turned out, but probably my faves are the penguin and the fish. Also, another thing that I wanted to address is that a few days ago I noticed that we've hit 1 million subscribers, which honestly feels so crazy even me saying it. I cannot believe that 1 million of you guys has hit the subscribe button on my channel and the only thing that I can say to you is thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys bring so much happiness and excitement into my life. Filming videos is one of my favorite things to do in life and knowing that you guys love to watch them is just a dream come true to me. So thank you guys for letting me live my dream. I'm sending you a big virtual hug and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Try to find alternative uses for things. All you have to do is be creative, curious and most importantly, have fun with it.